Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of uh, Lawrence Academy Screencasts. So the purpose of this screencast is to write equations in point slope form. In front of you we have the form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So m right here, that represents the slope. And um, the value of x1 and the value of y1 make up the point. So the thing to remember is that point-slope form gives us a point and a slope, and that's what we use to graph the line. The other key that we want to keep in mind is that the values of x and y are going to be opposite of what they look like in the equation, and that's because of the minus signs here in this form. So we'll talk about that more in a second. Okay, so let's look at a couple example problems. In this first example, uh, it tells us to find the point slope equation using this is our point and this is our slope. Okay, so let's start by writing the base form down. So it's y minus y1 equals the slope, which we use m for, um, x minus x1. Okay, so let's first fill in the slope. Well, we know that to be negative 4, so we can just write equals negative 4 right here. Now let's go with our x value, okay? It comes first in the ordered pair. Um, also remember that this is a negative 7 here, and this is a minus x, so it's actually going to turn into be uh, plus 7 because the minus a minus. And then our y value is 2, and that's going to look like y minus 2. Just to reiterate that point, our slope negative 4 here goes in right here for the m value. Our x value negative 7 goes in over here to our x1. And our y2 goes into our y1. Our second example asks us to use the given equation, this one right here, to find the slope and the point, or one point, on the line. Alright, so we can remind ourselves of our base formula, and it's just right up here. So we know m to be slope, so we can look and find out what is in that position in this example. And that is the 3 fourths, so m, or the slope, equals 3 fourths, right? This is our x1, this is our y1, and we're after an ordered pair here, which is going to be x comma y. So remember we change our signs of these values, so it turns out to be 1 comma 2. And that's how you gleam or find the slope and one point from these types of equations. You see here two example problems that I want you to try on your own. So I want you to graph these two problems in point slope form. Now I know we haven't done that yet, but use what you know about the form to graph the problem. First identify the slope, then identify the ordered pair, and with those two things you should be able to graph it. Alright, good luck.